Well, excitement is brewing for the Atlanta Falcons upcoming season. The Dirty Birds are hitting it hard in Flowery Branch this morning for another day of training camp. And Good Days Buck Lanford and Fox 5 Sports Kelly Price sat down with the team's general manager, Terry Fontenot, to talk all about the buzz. All right, we are back out at Falcons training camp. This is day six, I believe it is. Lose count at this day point. Seven, right? Day seven, okay, day seven <laughs> here with uh, Falcons General Manager Terry Fontenot. We appreciate you joining us this morning. My first question is a little different. Instead of talking about what they're doing out there, I want to know what a typical day is like for you during training camp. Yeah, well, you know, the most important thing about training camp is finding the right 53 plus 16, right? You, you want to make sure you, and we have some really good players. There are some tough decisions to make, but you want to make sure you don't let a player go that ends up being a good player somewhere else. And it's challenging because everyone that's here, we had a lot of conviction and bring them, mm -hmm. them in at whatever investment level it was. So what we're always doing is constantly evaluating, evaluating practice on the field, evaluating in the meetings, our whole scouting department's in here, obviously working along with the coaches, watching the tape, studying the tape, and evaluating every part of what they do. So that's what's most important right now. And of course, yesterday was the first day in pads for your team. What did you notice and maybe take away from that? It's fun to see them on the grass. We got a lot of really tough physical players, and it starts up front with a line of scrimmage is where we believe we stack up against anyone, our offensive line, our defensive line. So it's really fun to see those guys, and you kind of got to hold them back a little bit once <laughs> it gets going and, and, and it gets physical, as you see. But really, really fun once they start hitting. Talking about uh, what did you see? I mean, positives and, and perhaps any, any negatives or concerns that you've seen so far? Yeah, well, the first day in pads is always – it's not going to be totally. There could be a couple procedural penalties and a couple little things like that that you got to clean up. But the positives were we have a really smart team that worked really hard during the – offseason and where they started right from there was no a lot of times you get into the training camp and you start over and you reinstall but they just kept going and, and and Zach said it Jimmy said it you just keep going because those guys are taking in so much so we really that first day it already looks good there's already chemistry mm -hmm. there's already so I would say all the work that went in during the offseason the way that's carried over has been fun to watch and talking about chemistry and some of the positives I know so many people have been talking about Kirk Cousins on the offensive side of the ball but I'm curious what you've seen the kind of Kirk effect over this entire team and maybe even the defense, how he's maybe helping them develop. Yeah, it, it's really clear why Kirk Cousins has been so successful in his career from college to Washington to Minnesota. Why he's going to have so much success here? Because everything that he does, the way he treats his body, the way he approaches his rehab, the way he approaches the training, the film room, everything, but he's also very intentional about helping his teammates. He's a true elevator multiplier, like you're saying. We've seen it on offense, but also on defense. And you've heard Jesse talk about how he's watched tape with him, but he makes sure he connects with, with all the players and, and him, iron sharpens iron, so him being a multiplier has really affected this whole building. What's it been like for you to see that leadership kind of happen on this team? I mean, I feel like he's, like you mentioned with Jesse, they've been watching film together. This is a guy that's really reaching out kind of on both sides of the aisle to, to make sure this team is unified. Yeah, it's special and he fits right in because from the Jake Matthews and Chris Lindstrom's, Grady Jarrett, uh, Jesse Bates, AJ Terrell, we have a lot we have a really strong locker room, a lot of exceptional leaders, I would say, on this team. And so we insert a Kirk Cousins like that at the quarterback position, it just makes it even better. So we believe we've had a really strong culture in that way, and, and Kirk is just adding to it. We're all armchair quarterbacks, especially when it comes to the <laughs> NFL draft, right? Everybody's got an opinion. So I want to get your thoughts now on, and, and it's early, I, I get that. I was about to get your thoughts. Well, well I might give you some. If you want some, I might have some. But, but I want to get your thoughts, because those matter a lot more uh, on, and it's early, I know, on, on this year's draft class, how they look right now, how they're acclimating into this system. Man, re really good. Starting with Michael Penix, and we just talked about Kirk, and, and right now, and how special he's been, and how special he's going to be for us this year, but the future is bright. Uh, Mike, you see all the physical talent, the arm talent, the movement skills, you see all those things, and he's a sponge. It's important for you to learn and soak up everything, and he's really doing that with his mindset and mentality. And then you get to the, we drafted a lot of defensive mm -hmm. linemen from Rook, and Brandon Dorless, and, and Zion and those are some big powerful athletic guys that are fitting right in and it's good just like we see we said with Kirk helping everyone and multiplying also you see, we have some defensive linemen like Grady Jared and David Onyemata that are really helping those young guys grow so it's good to see those all that young talent with some veterans that can really show them the way uh, Braylon Trice um, our, our linebacker from Notre Dame Captain America mm -hmm. all those guys are good football players and the more and more you go the better it gets when you put on the pads when you have tough physical players the pads really define them. So overall, 
it's been exceptional. Well, we appreciate your time this morning. I guess you probably have some work to do, don't you? <laughs> appreciate it. All right, Terry, thanks a lot. Thanks. We'll send it back to you. Mm -hmm.